Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sada and 72 members of his party have resigned from Iraq's parliament. The move by the country's largest political bloc was to end eight months of deadlock over forming a government. Laura Burnham Manley explains. Muqtada al-Sada is considered one of the most popular politicians in Iraq. His party was the biggest winner in October's election, with 73 of 329 seats. But after months of no party being able to form a government, Sada announced he was considering stepping down. Three days later, his party followed. Iraq does not need the formation of a government, but an effective government whose majority serves its people, returns its glory and obedience to God. So let our beloved Sadrus bloc members write their resignations from parliament. Analysts say the move is confusing. Al-Sada is a staunch opponent of Iranian influence in Iraqi politics. Yet, the Supreme Court rules the next party with the highest votes will gain the seats. And that party is closely allied with Iran. This means uh, more seats to be gained by the uh, state of law uh, group, which is headed by Mr. Nur al-Maliki, by groups that are affiliated with the popular mobilization forces. So it's going to strengthen the hand of this coalition, which is a pro-Iran coalition. October's general election had been pushed forward after large protests shook the country. Two years earlier, crowds amassed in Baghdad's Tahrir Square as people demanded jobs, better services and an end to state corruption. They swelled and spread south, leading to the resignation of Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi by May. Tens of thousands of supporters of al Sada also turned out in a show of political clout. The media websites which are affiliated with the Sadrists have already started to call for protest. Uh, I mean, so there is a fear that we might go back to the kind of violence that was present in 2019. Al-Sadr had failed to jockey for a majority coalition in parliament. But many now question whether he will influence his supporters to mount political pressure from the streets. Laura Badamani, Al Jazeera.